Hello friends, today we are going to talk about uh, two books which are uh, definitely essential for beginners in uh, data science or machine learning. Now before I discuss about the book, uh, let me tell you why exactly you are facing challenge you know, in, in becoming good in doing data analysis and uh, you know whatever you call it, data science, machine learning, etc. The reason is the tools, okay? Let me give you an example. Suppose, you know, uh, you saw the cloud, right? And it's dark, okay? So you can quickly say that, you know, the weather is going to be gloomy or it is going to rain in just a fraction of a second, right? Anything, is there anything wrong, right? Because naturally, we humans are very good in doing analysis, but the challenge is if you have to teach that analysis to a computer program what do you need immediately we need a you know a software and a camera setup so that it can take a picture of the cloud decide what color the cloud is and then based on the reference images it can say whether it is going to rain or is, is it going to be sunny etc now do you see the challenge here the challenge is not in your ability to do analysis, rather the inability to use the tools, okay? The challenge is you have to be comfortable with the tools in parallel to doing data analysis. Now that is the challenge. And why do that challenge appear so many number of times? It's because we did not start learning about the tools from the basics. We immediately jump started with a, you know, in a rather a complex tool such as Python programming and its libraries. And more often than not, we are not even sure what that tool does in the first place. Let aside, we can be using them comfortably to do data analysis. Does it make sense? You know, the challenge is in the tools itself. And surprisingly, those tools are very cumbersome when you are just a beginner, right? So what does it mean by that, right? What do I mean by that? The tools are cumbersome. It means, first of all, while you're driving a car, you should exactly know what the steering wheel does, right? And you should also know what the accelerator does and you should know what the brake does, right? You should be knowing what the tool is capable of, capable of and what its uh, you know capacity and limitations are. Similarly, in doing data analysis, we should know what linear algebra would do, what you know, Python programming would do, what certain libraries such as pandas, numpy, all those fancy libraries, what are they supposed to do? And they would do within a certain limit and within certain capacity. And that knowledge is very important. It takes years and years of practice to become comfortable with those tools. But everything starts from the basics, okay? Now, in order to design a car, you would not directly jump into the aluminum and the steel and the electronics, right? You would first do a conceptual design. And for that, you would need a tool. Similarly, in a data analysis as well, first of all, your basic foundation should be really good. So the first is the linear algebra. It teaches you how to, you know, solve a simultaneous equation. Now, if you see, if you have 1 million rows of data, right, that means you have 1 million simultaneous equation which you need to solve simultaneously, correct? Now, similarly, if you don't know how to solve that problem in the first place, what would Python or R programming or any other library would do, right? You just need to know, first of all, how the eigenvector and the eigenvalue, you know, behave what are their purposes and all those things uh, what is uh, you know uh, the support vector decomposition what are all these mathematical concepts if you don't know this uh, your libraries wherever you can use the scikit-learn has how to solve a svm scikit-learn has you know decision tree scikit-learn has uh, you know your linear regression and logistic regression methods but if you don't know the underlying mathematics guess what it becomes very challenging to you know, solve or even analysis a problem. That means you should be first comfortable in parallel with your data analysis is the tools. Now, that should not 
be a challenge if you start from the basic. So in my opinion, the first book that you should read is The Linear Algebra by Gilbert Strang. Now, if you are a person who doesn't like to read a book, let me tell you, just Google search Linear Algebra by Gilbert Strang, MIT Open Courseware. There he has provided that 42 lectures, each lecture is around one hour and it's completely free where he has taught lucidly, like brilliantly taught, uh, you know, Linear Algebra. That is the first thing you should study. The second book that I would definitely suggest to you is the Data Smart, which is by Josh uh, Foreman. And this book shows you how to do data analysis with Excel. As I was telling you, you need to learn how to do data analysis first using some tools, which is easy to use. Now, of course, people might say Excel is incapable, but it's a good tool to start with. The concepts are easy, the application of the software, the Excel software is so straightforward. You should grasp the concept. Then of course, in parallel, you have to learn other tools such as Python or R, etc. whatever you're liking, sir. But first you need somebody need to teach you how to do data analysis, right? So these two books, I would definitely suggest, one is the Linear Algebra and its application by Gilbert Strang. And the second one is uh, Data Smart by Josh, uh, sorry, John Foreman, okay? So these two book, once you complete, it will give you the complete idea that how to solve a problem, then you can decide which tool you are going to use. All right, I hope this uh, small video gives you a right path to prepare. And very soon we are going to also share a, a blog uh, for people who are just starting and which courses and what should you learn in sequence so that your journey to data science becomes very enjoyable. All right. Thanks and you take care.